right guys, here is the situation. I was talking to Bombing Science, as I do on occasion, and they said, hey Skiz, is there anything in our shop you wanted to try out that you haven't tried out yet? I said, okay, well here's a couple things that the viewers have been requesting for me to review. They said, sick, we'll get a package together, send it over to you. I'm like, okay. Then this whole thing shows up. I mentioned about two markers, literally, so long story short, I don't know anything about what is in this package, so we're finding out together right here, right now. And this will also subsequently help you guys know what you'll be seeing on the channel in the near future for sure. Holy hell. Well. You heard that sound, you know what that means. That means paint, and they really hooked it up with the sort of classic bombing setup. We've got the dang jumbo paint. This is the high flow. If you don't know about the high flow yet, you may be living under a rock, sorry to tell you. But you can check out everything you need to know about the high flow in the review I did. Here we've got just a normal white. We got their gold too, as well as, I'll tell you right now, after I throw it around, we got the silver. Their metallic colors are much, much brighter and more reflective than a lot of like chromes that you get. This is meant to be more of like an actual silver instead of a chrome per se. A black, a must have color. We got that in there too. Beautiful bunch of cans there. Um, they really hooked it up though today, guys. They threw in three of these marker paints from OTR. I think they're a fairly new product. They're not exactly the same as the sole tip paint. They're a little bit different. So we are going to have to see what that is like. And you know what? They threw in a chrome, which I have not tried yet. I don't think I've actually technically tried any of these in the marker paint specifically. So I'm very interested to see what this stuff is like. And that is far from all here that we have, guys. They threw in some stuff I don't even, can't even tell what this is. They, they know how to pack down at the bombing science, let me tell you. Um, yeah. <laughs> They know what I have and haven't tried out down there because uh, they sent everything that I haven't tried. The on the run ball pen fluid, also a relatively new product right there for you. Very excited to try that out. That's gonna be, it's, a, it's what they're calling a solvent based ink gel concentrate. It sounds like it's a thick, thick ink, whatever. We've got this little bit to open it. This is a very squeezable bottle. So I'm really gonna have to see what that is like but they hooked it up with the red and the blue of this ball pen fluid so this is a very interesting little formula actually it says right on the bottle here ball pen fluid is a perfect addition to improve any alcohol based inks or to make diy inks the rich gel concentrate can be used 5 to 20 percent in relation to the solvent give buffers hard times. Interesting. So you can bet that we will be taking a very close look at this. I'm already super excited about what it's gonna do for us. So if you aren't subscribed already to the channel and you wanna see this in the future, feel free to subscribe, check out a few more videos and that'll make it more likely that when I do release the review of this ball pen fluid, it shows up on your home screen. We're far from done here, guys. It looks like Bombing Science finally has the purple. They sent three of these mini Molotov Rollerball drip sticks. Stop, rewind, post filming, I'm realizing that these are not the Molotov drip stick rollerballs. They are just the straight up drip stick minis. And previously you could not actually get these on bombingscience.com. So these may actually be a new addition to the site. I don't know how recent, can't speak to that, but I'm even more excited to try these out now because it'll be good to have a mini mop to possibly give maybe the grog squeezer mini 5 fmp a run for its money and the otr mini as well we'll have to do a mini mop battle of the brands i do have to say and you sure as hell know that that is going to have the molotov dripstick versus the otr 007 versus the grog squeezer minis in there that's gonna be a steamy little head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head battle that we're gonna have there. Can't wait, guys. 
They sent a red one over, they sent a green, and they sent their purple. The purple's called purple, the green's called cream green, and the red is probably signal red. That's generally what Molitor does. Traffic red, my bad. In case you guys are wondering and haven't seen these before, these are minuscule, very nice pocket size type thing. Very comfortable in that regard. Something else they've hooked it up with today. This is something that I specifically requested they send over. And this is a new OTR product as well. They really went ham with the OTR <laughs> products this time around. And it is the metal tip paint marker by On The Run. On The Run finally has metal tip paint markers here. So you'll probably be seeing this video on either a Thursday or a Friday that it's uploaded if you're watching it day of, day after. And if that is the case, the review of these will be coming out the following Monday in two or three days. I'm very excited to check these out and I'm glad they threw in three of them here for me. I'll give you a good look on screen. They've got this fairly standard looking sort of whiteout tip, which is why I wanted to try these so bad, especially because because this body type is a very nice body type. Personally, this is how I love to be able to hold markers writing with them. That's why I sort of like the sort of mops that are in the shape of the dang mops or the crink K60 type thing, like that general body shape. Uh, not saying anything in particular about the crink K60, that was a different video, but just that body style of those sort of 10 millimeter nib mops. Very comfortable to write with. And this is like the same thing on a bit of a smaller scale. So I'm very excited to try this out. They really know how to choose the colors over there for you. Leave it to Bombing Science to choose colors for you if you have the option ordering from them for paints or whatnot. They sent their gold over as well as their silver. They're just called gold and silver and they also sent over the yellow. And again, these are minuscule. If you want to see them compared to a product most of you are a little more familiar with, here is what they look like compared to the gorgeous Molotow Dripstick Mini right there. And the one last thing they sent over was something they specifically mentioned or asked if I had tried out or not. Very interested to see. We're going to do a little test of this right now. It's not what you expect, but it is the Bombing Science Backpack. It's specifically designed to carry paints, either spray cans or bucket paints. As you can see here, it comes with this super handy grid type thing for your paint. It looks like it has really sort of high quality zippers. These feel really smooth, really nice. So they didn't cheap out on this, guys. They need a proper product that's gonna do the job for you just fine. And it's a good enough size. So these cans, that's a three by four, 12 cans can fit in here. I'll show you some shots when I get all the paint in there to show you just how versatile this backpack can be. It'll certainly be something I'm looking forward to uh, taking my paint to the, the free walls with. It's a lot better than my current setup, I'll tell you that. As always, they threw in a couple coupons. I will put those on screen for the first two of you to grab and use who are going to order from Bombing Science. I like to give back a little bit to you guys. But as I said, a lot of these products I've either already reviewed very recently because I have them now here, or in the case of these on the run 8001 metal tip paint markers, that will be the review that is coming out this coming Monday. Feel free to subscribe to see that video upcoming and feel free to check out any of the other reviews on the channel, of course. Thanks again to Bombing Science for, you know, sending this stuff over and giving me the ability to get these reviews done for you and get a bit more knowledge into our great little graffiti community here on the channel. This is the kind of exclusive stuff that I get to bring you guys. I hope to see you in those reviews soon. Until then, 